How can you go from no credit card to some of the top credit cards in the game? I'm talking about cards like the Amex Platinum card or the Chase Sapphire card or even the Centurion card or and the JP Mortgage Reserve card. Well, that's what we're actually gonna be breaking down today. So that's on the interest you, be sure you stay tuned. Now, first off, I recommend you try to actually apply for a soft credit pool options that you're given for tier three. The tiers will make sense here in a little bit once I actually start breaking them down. Now, the reason why I say apply for soft credit pool options is because this will let you know if you should start further down on the tiers or actually apply for a higher tiered card. Now, one website I recommend to actually do this is creditcard.com's card match tool. And I'll link to that down below. Now, this tool actually allows you to pretty much type in your information and then they do sort of a soft credit pool to see what cards you're more likely to get approved for. So it's definitely a great option, especially if you're not sure where to start. Now let's jump into level one. Level one is gonna be the credit builder level. Now this is for if you're just starting off, you're pretty much new to credit cards or maybe you've had a rough past with credit and you're trying to actually put that life behind you and rebuild from new. So this is going to be things like if you had bad credit, maybe you have a low income, this is going to be where the category that you're more or the level you're more likely going to have to start out at. Some cards that are included are, you know, the secured cards that graduate. Now, what does graduate mean? That means that you get a secured card that it can take anywhere from six months to a year, depending on the actual card issuer. But eventually they will actually upgrade that card to an unsecured card. Card. I think this is the best option because one, you don't have to close that account out. Usually all they do is they just roll that account into an unsecured card and then they send you back your deposit, which means you're winning. And as well as your credit's not going to take a hit because you're closing an account. You're pretty much closing an account and, and hurting your average age of credit. Now, some examples of cards like that is the City Secured MasterCard, the Bank of Merit card, Secured Credit Card as well, and the Discover It Secured Credit Card. And also Chime has a Credit Builder card as well. And the guys, all these cards I'm gonna to link to down below. Chime has a credit builder card that's pretty good. And what I like about it is it's especially good for someone who maybe you had bad credit in the past and you're not getting approved for pretty much anything, not even getting approved for some secured cards. They're going to be a good option for you to use as well. Now, also guys, if you need help improving your finances and credit, check out our Everyday Finance Academy, which I'm going to link down below. We call it the eFi Academy, where we actually walk you through how to fix your credit, how to improve your finances and how to start building wealth. So be sure you check that out. I'm going to link to it down below in the description. Now, the next level is going to be level two. Now, this is going to be more of a quality card level, as I like to call it. At this point, you'll start getting access to cards that can actually start changing your lifestyle a bit. Now, this is gonna be more for people who maybe your credit scores is around 650, but preferably you're in the 700 plus range. You should be making, I would say, a standard entry level corporate salary, right? So we're looking at minimum, you know, 40K. Once you meet those these two points, then it's a good idea to kind of start looking into these cards. Now, two cards for me that come to mind is gonna be the Amex Gold card, which I own, and the Chase Sapphire preferred card that I own as well. There's also the Chase Freedom Unlimited card, which I own as well. And so a few other ones are gonna be the City Premier card and cards on this level from other types of issue or credit card issuers, right? Cards that, you know, you can really just look up like Amex Gold card competitors or whatever the case may be. And on Google, you're gonna see a bunch of cards that kind of fall in that tier. Now, the good thing about cards at this point is that now you're gonna be able to start earning credit card points, okay? You can think about it as, you know, so there's some cards out there that say you earn 2% or 1% cash back with this card. Credit card points are essentially the same thing, right? It's kind of like you're getting a certain credit card issuer's currency. So for example, Amex has membership rewards points and Chase has ultimate rewards points. And with these points, you're able to do things like get cash back, you're able to use them to pay off transactions on your card. You're even able to transfer these points to their transfer partners. So they have like airlines you can transfer to use the points to buy airplane tickets, to be able to transfer them to hotels, to use the points to buy uh, stays at certain hotels, okay? So this is where things can really change for you because now, for example, I've been able to use my points to fly business class to certain locations where I'm paying cheaper for business class than I would have paid in cash for economy. So that's where you can really start leveraging these points. Now, level three is gonna be the we made level okay <laughs> so this is cards that tend to have a higher annual fees but they're gonna be stuffed with benefits that really make it worthwhile depending on what your actual lifestyle is so who fits in this category it's gonna be more people who have a credit score that's gonna be in the 720 and above and you want to have a salary in the fifty thousand dollars or more range but you can always try to apply anyways and you may still get approved with the lower income now the cards that I look at that fall in this category are gonna be cards like the Amex platinum card the Chase Sapphire reserve card and even the Capital One Venture card as well. 
And so these cars are gonna be some cars that, if, especially if they fit into your lifestyle, let's say for example, with the Amex Platinum card, you're traveling a lot and now you get the Amex Platinum card. One of the benefits of that card is access to lounges, right? Airport lounges. And so Amex has built out their own airport lounges and they partner with other companies that also give you even more access to airport lounges. And so what that can mean is maybe now instead of you traveling, you bought an economy ticket for work or something and you gotta travel to another city, you might now be able to access actual airport lounges that just improve your stay while you're at the, you're at the airport. Now these lounges guys can have stuff like food, they'll have drinks, some lounges will even have showers, places to sleep, things like that, where you get more of a premium experience whenever you're at the airport and just you're able to be a lot more comfortable than you waiting at the gate and just sitting in a chair where you might not have an outlet so on and so forth. Now the next level is gonna be level four. Now this is the exclusive tier or the exclusive level, the way I like to look at it, okay? So you can see annual fees are gonna be in the four to five digits and there's not gonna be much benefit to the average person, but then again, are you average if you actually meet the requirements to even be able to get these cars in the first place, right? These cars are gonna be more for people who are, you spend a crazy amount of money on credit cards. Think hundreds of thousands of dollars and typically these cars are gonna be invite only, meaning you can't even apply for these. They have to invite you to apply. Now, these cards are gonna be cards like, the main one that pops into my mind is the Amex Interion card. It has a $10,000 initiation fee. And the way it works typically is you have other Amex cards and JP Morgan has a card as well, which is Chase. And typically the way these cards work is they wanna see, you know, you have other cards with them and they see that you're spending a large amount of money and they decide, hey, let's try to upgrade this guy or let's try to get this guy into our more premium program. And you know, you'll see with those programs is typically, I think the real benefit comes from you being able to have someone you can call to book stuff for you and that way it's kind of almost like they try to pitch it as more of like a concierge type of service okay and so this level is going to be extremely hard to get to it's more of you just being accepted into that or invited into those programs because of how much you're spending on your other credit cards now guys that's going to be the gist of the video if you're interested in actually improving your finances so you can actually climb up this ladder and be able to get to the different levels whatever level is more appealing to you check out the eFi academy our everyday finance academy link below also be sure that you check out our amex gold card review as well that i shot and and that's currently my favorite card for daily use right now. And I talk about all the top benefits that come with that card as well. Alrighty. So I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure you check out my video on the next one and I'll see you soon. Peace.